Hi, my name is Kevin Jackson, and I work with the InMapper product line that helps systems. And today, we'll be talking about Layer 2 mapping. So InMapper has a Layer 2 function that allows you to convert a Layer 3 diagram to a Layer 2 diagram. So some of the things that Layer 2 can provide for you are simple things like what switch port is this computer connected to, or what computers are connected to this whatever switch port you're looking for, and how are these two switches connected. So some of the initial requirements required to convert this layer two map um, are, first and foremost, we need to ensure that your devices are running SNMP, at least your layer two devices are running SNMP. We recommend that you add a few devices uh, to the map um, at a time before you start your initial scan. Confirm that the devices, the layer two devices, are running a, a sort of an SNMP probe and then ensure that all interfaces are enabled for each respective device, and we'll go through and show you how to do that as well. So I have a blank map, and first and foremost, what we need to do is we need to enable the Layer 2 feature. We can do that from the global settings. If we go under the Edit menu, Server Settings, we scroll down to Layer 2 Features, now within this settings, there's a few things that we need to be aware of. First and foremost, we can enable the layer two feature on this product or we can disable it. We can essentially figure out if we want to schedule or run a manual scan on your layer two network. And then the third options within this, uh, this server settings scenario is how do you want to run your layer two scan? If you have a map that only has switches on it and you want to see switch to switch connections using CDP and LLDP protocol, then you can select a limited scan. If you want to see your entire switching infrastructure, including endpoints, then you will select a complete scan. And this takes a little longer because it has to go through all the devices that's on, on your network or on the map. So also what we want to do is we want to ensure that we have the correct map enabled when we run the scan. So currently, we have this blank layer two test map. We wanna ensure that it's enabled, so we have it enabled here. We're gonna add a few devices and we're gonna select a feature because we have the switch and a possible endpoint that's going to be added to this particular map. So we're good there. And what we wanna do from here is let's add the devices to the map. I have two devices that I want to add, so I'm just going to add them by IP address. My first device is a switch, and my second device is an endpoint. So I've just added the two devices on the map. Notice that my switch on the left has all the interfaces enabled and my endpoint on the right is attached to the subnet. So in order for us to ensure that all the interfaces are enabled, we can take a look at the interface window. If you right click on the switch itself, click on interface, go into the windows menu. This allows you to see all the interfaces associated with this particular switch. Don't worry about the down interfaces as InnoMapper will remove those interfaces once the scan is complete and we rearrange the map. So we'll do that automatically. But we wanna make sure that all the interfaces are selected and enabled. And this has to be done on all the, the layer two switches. And if you have endpoints on the map as well, ensure that all the endpoints and their in interfaces are also enabled as well. Essentially, InnoMapper will not be able to make the association if we do not see the interface that we need to make the association to. So now that we have our devices on the map, there are two ways that we can run this layer two scan. The first way, we can run the scan under the service settings, the layer two window where we can hit the now key a second option is you can click on the Windows menu within the map, open up your device list, and this will take you to this list where we have a layer two view. Open up the layer two view and you can hit the scan or collect layer two information now. 
So let's go ahead and hit that option. And the mapper is running the scan. So this window is called our layer two view. On the left side is our filters window, which shows all these, the switching infrastructure. In the middle here, we call this the endpoints window, which shows the switches and their uh, respective interconnects and ports. And down in the bottom, we'll show the actual layer two switches if we identify them. So let's go back to the map. Notice that we've made one association. We have an interface connected to its respective sub, uh, respective interfa interface on the endpoint. If we right click on that particular link, we can see some information. So here you have your switching interface and the endpoint see some information about that particular endpoint. The next option is how do we clean up this map? How do we get rid of those down interfaces and make this map a little bit more legible? Under the edit menu, we can go to map settings. And under the map settings, we have another layer two features. Now within this map settings, we can use this feature to clear up the map. So we can tell Intermapper how do we want to rearrange this map. We want to show interfaces when connection is made. We want to ensure that this is connected. But we also want to hide interfaces that have nothing connected to it because we don't necessarily need to see those interfaces that, that have nothing um, connected to them. And then also we want to hide those virtual interfaces as well. So let's go ahead and ensure that all three are enabled. And then if we hit the Change Now button, this should clear it up. So now if we go back to our map, we now have the two interfaces from the two respective devices connected to each other. Now you have your layer two map. Thanks for joining the short tutorial on layer two mapping.